Tommy Baldwin yesterday, shortly after the cup race ended at Watkins Glen, announced this on Twitter. He says, today I post with news that no one ever wants to hear. I have cancer. It's treatable, but this week of racing will be the last for a while for the Tommy Baldwin racing team. Going to take a break and begin treatment to beat it into the ground. This is not a post for pity. I want to let the world know that if you don't feel right, go get checked out by a doctor now. Don't wait. If I can save one life by posting this, I have done my job. Never be scared to go see the doctor. It could save your life. Take the message and share it with those you love before it's too late. I will beat this challenge like every other. The grind begins now. Thanks to everyone for the support. See you all at the track as soon as possible. Tommy Baldwin Jr. And Baldwin's driver in the Modifieds, Doug Kobe, sent this out a few minutes later. A few minutes ago, my car owner, crew chief, and friend publicly shared news about his recent cancer diagnosis. This is a reminder to all of us that racing is much bigger than competition on the track. It's about family and the friendships we create and our community. My thoughts are with TB and his family as he begins treatment, and I know the racing community will rally around him with nothing but love and encouragement. You got this, TB, and we got you. As far as my future competing in the remaining seven events of the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour season, I have no comment at this time. Ask the important questions, not the ones that are irrelevant. And on that note, out of respect for Tommy Baldwin and Doug Kobe, we will not speculate what this means for the future in terms of how he will finish his season in the Modifies. But, uh, Brandon, I know I was talking yesterday. I, I don't know about you, but I remember <laughs> that team that Tommy put together at the turn of a decade when the recession was going on. And really, I think the first major starting park team that showed how that business model was intended to work. It was very difficult to make work, but Dave Blaney went out, had a couple strong super speedway runs of that Golden Corral car, and then Golden Corral signed on for the full season, and he helped turn that team into one of the most lovable underdogs in the Cup Series, and Tommy's still going at it in the Modifieds, and it's been a fantastic crew chief, car owner, competition director, very involved with the sport, and just really shook me up hearing that news yesterday. So I, I know I speak for you and everybody at Grid Network when we say, Get well soon, Tommy, and we hope to see you back in the track soon. Yeah, certainly uh, a tragic news to hear there, and glad Tommy Baldwin's able to come out and say it himself. And we're, we're all all rallying behind you, Tommy. We're praying for you, your family, and yeah, the Tommy Baldwin racing. That you're you're absolutely right there, Ben. That's one of those iconic uh, smaller teams that you know really showed up in the and those 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 decades where we, we were kind of growing up, and really as a iconic with the golden corral schemes and it kind of you know formed that sort of like almost pre-charter time in nascar it was an interesting time in the sport and tommy baldwin a big part of that and his driver doug colby there in, in the modified series um just it, it's it's been great to see them continue on in, in different parts of the sport and uh, just tragic news there and we're we're all pulling for you and i will tell you there are two races that i would go back if you could let me go back and change any two races from my childhood and change the result, I would give the Coca-Cola 600 in 2007 one more lap so that Kyle Petty could win in that Coke Zero car of a number 45. But I would also go back, and no disrespect to the Matt Kenseth fans, there's a part of me that will still go to my grave upset, and I've said this on this network before, that Dave Blaney did not win the 2012 Daytona 500. Tommy Baldwin and that team put him in a great position when the Juan Pablo Montoya jet dryer incident happened, they were leaning on the back stretch. The track was on fire. It was the early hours of Tuesday morning. I thought for sure they were going to call it, but he regardless got his moment in the spotlight for his team and Ollie's bargain outlet. And unfortunately they restarted the race and he had to pit. That was that. I think he ended up 15th that night, but you know, still, a, like I said, a team that had some strong runs and did a lot with a little at the turn of a decade. It's a shame that uh, things didn't work out and they had to, shut down the cup operation or really scale it back. I know they've come back a couple of times as an open entry over the last few years, but uh, like we, like we said at the start, uh, thinking of Tommy, uh, really unfortunate news and uh, hoping for the best for him that he pulls through this and we can see him back of the track and back on the modified tour as soon as possible. And I see Adam Lemerys uh, sharing our sentiments here. Loved your one shining moment last night, Ben, as someone who grew up in the new England area, big prayers for Tommy Baldwin. 